Hi friends, we're going to go over our llama pencil quickly, just so that we remember what to do at home. Okay, so we're going to start, remember that we are going right, uh, left hand and right hand, um, and not necessarily mirror image, uh, just so that you're not doing it in your right hand. We always hold the pencil and the bow in our right hand, and then we hold the violin and the viola in our left hand, right? We're going to start by holding the pencil by the tip in our left hand. And our right hand is going to make a llama. So we're going to put our middle finger and our ring finger touching our thumb and then our pointer finger and our pinky go up in the air. And this is a very hungry llama. The llama is so hungry that he starts chewing on his bottom lip a little bit because he can't wait to eat. So make sure that our thumbnail is getting covered up by our middle finger, okay? And then you can make sure that you can chew your llama, all right? So the llama's favorite thing to eat happens to be pencils. It's a weird llama, right? Why would we want to eat a pencil? But that's what we're going to do. So we're, we're going to feed the llama a pencil and he's going to bite it sideways. And now he's chewing on a pencil and he's happy. So make sure that when we do this, the pencil is on the first line on the inside of our fingers where we bend our fingers and we're not right at the tips of the fingers so it's inside that first line but we are on the tip of our thumb so our thumbnail is pointing towards the pencil if you hold it like that it might be a little uncomfortable or feel too tight and if you hold it like that it's going to feel really goofy but this is what we want to strive for to make it comfortable that first line on the middle finger and the ring finger and then the tip of our thumb so now the llama is really happy that he's got his pencil to chew on. He's going to get sleepy. So his pointer finger ear, the ear with the pointer finger is going to droop down and it's going to wrap around the pencil and it's going to pull on the pencil and snuggle in tight. You see how the pencil is wiggling now? And we got this, these three fingers balancing on the thumb. If you play viola or violin, He's got an itch and he's gonna tap his pinky. So violin and viola, we're tapping our pinky on the top of the stick. And if it's cello or bass with a French bow, the pinky's also gonna wrap around the stick. But violin and viola is gonna tap, bass and, bass and cello will wrap, okay? And that's it, and that's our llama grip, and that's a really good job. And this is exactly what we're going to do when we get to picking up the bow. The bow grip is going to be exactly this. So again, we've got our thumb tip pushing the thumbnail into the pencil. These three fingers are wrapped around and the pinky is tapping for violin and viola or wrapped for cello and bass. Notice that there's nothing in the back of the hand. We're not pulling the pencil all the way into the palm of our hand. Our palm of our hand going to have lots of empty space and empty air okay this is a really good game it's kind of challenging for our fingers to move them so small and specifically it's a really good game and it's a really important warm-up before we pick up the bow okay bye friends